that's how I start? Yep. There we go. Let's do a new one. Yes. No, not skip tutorial. We want the tutorial. Wakey, wakey, sleepy bones. I know it's your last day at home, but that doesn't mean you can skip your cures. Go over here and give your old man a hand. No, it's my last day. It means that, that, that I can't skip chores. You can't stop me. Oh, well, first off, these crops need harvesting. You could be in for a long journey out there. I'm gonna become a Pokemon master. <laughs> Don't forget to catch your Charmanders and your Pikachus. After all, you'll be... You'll get to decide which island you choose to become your new home. We're kicking you off this one. I don't want you to leave home empty-handed and hungry. You don't want, I don't want you to starve the first few days. Right then, roll up your sleeves and let's get those car those crops harvested. Oh, and could you also grab that lily pad on the shore of the tomb? Thanks. Buttering time. Buttering time. Yeah, let's this go. one's supposed to be like if a farming sim was Pokemon. Let's go over the basics again. Lesson one, useful plants. Remember what I, what I taught you. Black is good for taming spirits. That's the one that looks like the purple flowers. Stone fruit, that this big round lad is best for storing stamina. And lily pads? have healing properties. They taste awful, though. Don't go around eating lily pads. All these plants are spring crops, so keep an eye out for useful plants in the other seasons. Good job! You didn't do anything yet, but good job! Lesson 2. Harvesting seeds. You'll need seeds to grow more of the same plant. If you want to get seeds, you'll have to cut down the plant. Use, the, your, use your sight to harvest seeds from other plants, or any plants, even wild ones. Come over here and harvest the seeds in this plot. Nicely done. Now, take this hoe and use it to dig a hole. When you've dug a hole, you can plant those seeds inside it. Yes. You can also use the holes that are already here if you don't want to make new ones, I suppose. Perfect. Now, once those seeds are ni are planted, you have to tend to them to help them grow. Yes. Here, take this watering can and give them some seed. Give give those seeds a drink. Watering time. They're pretty strong, okay? Watering time. Beautifully done. Lesson three: growing plants. Remember, crops need to be watered every day. If not, they'll wither and die, and you'll lose all your hard work. Of course, you can always hope for a rainy day to do the job for you. But stay here. Stay there, a Tick. There's something else I want you to have. You see, I've been raising three spirits in secret. They still need plenty of training, but they'll be strong enough to keep you safe. You might have seen this before. It's your mother's 
medallion. It's a sort of portal to a pocket dimension where spirits can reside. This, this medallion is yours now. And I put the spirits I've been training in there already. Hop into the medallion and choose one to have as your companion. It isn't a test. Don't worry, they're all good. Which one should I take up, Shabelle? We got a dinosaur, a bee, and a lamb rabbit. <laughs> I guess the dinosaur? Okay, dinosaur, you're my new best friend. And the other one, the other two just vanish and, and just disappear. Ankyo. <laughs> Great choice. I thought you might choose that one. I'm sure you two will have a great, will take great care of each other. I don't know where the other two left. I guess they they faded off into the afterlife. Don't worry about the other two. Your mother will take care of them. Oh, they are going to go to the afterlife. Ah. Oh, look. Over there, a wild spirit. It looks like it's about to murder you. This is perfect timing. Get over there and show me what you and your spirit can do. <laughs> Looks like that this gemlin has higher speed than your spirit, so he gets to make the first move. Gasp! It just used a rock throw on you. Oh no! Oh, it's got cards. Time for lesson four. Banishing spirits. You need to subdue these spirits to pacify them. They're not supposed to be this aggressive. The most important thing to remember, armor blocks attack. Okay, armor blocks attack damage. Reduce your armor, reduce their armor to zero to make them dizzy and deal extra damage. You can reduce armor in two ways. You can using a card that removes armor or attacking with an element that they're weak against. Try to use fast to reduce the gremlin's armor and leave it open to an attack. Perfect. The bond between you and your spirit is already strong. Don't worry. If you, if you reduce... Don't forget, if you reduce your opponent's armor to zero, it will get dizzy. Being dizzy makes them miss the next turn, which is to your your chance to deal more damage. Now, you've got you've got two energy left, so play two more cards. Now, you're all out of energy. And your turn now. And let's see what this wild spirit does. It loves throwing rocks at you and doing a lot of damage. Oh dear, that looked like it hurt. Just to be safe, you should heal your spirit. Remember I told you that lily pads were good for healing? Use the feed action to feed a lily pad to your spirit now. Oh dear, that looked like it hurt. There you go, your spirit is looking much healthier. Looks like Jemlin is about to use Earthquake on you though. <laughs> What's so funny? It's like a, like, like a it's, just, it's just funny. Like it's like a level two Pokemon using Earthquake. <laughs> Use the right move, you might be able to stop it that from happening. We're only level one. Oh yeah. Now you should. Oh, sorry. 
get rid of that get rid of that armor and you'll make them dizzy so they can't attack oh brilliantly done nice work now you've got the upper hand deal damage to a spear with no armor is much higher than usual Bring its HP to zero and vanish into the great beyond. Oh my goodness, we are killing them. Yeah. Bad temper. Deals and receives double damage by per attack. Oh. Okay. It regenerates one. Anger and it gets three damage each time. Blah. Level two. Great work killing that monster. One more, th one more thing. Lesson four point five, I suppose. Spirits can be tamed and brought into your medallion. Tame a spirit, and you can use it in, the fu in future battles. Remember to have to have flax on your hand for taming spirits to love it. He doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Mother, sweetheart, are you doing? All right, sweetheart, are you done out there? Come back to the house. I have something else to give you before you go. Oh, the mother's alive. He made it sound like the mother was dead. He made it sound like the mother was dead. And this is your mother's medallion, and I want you to have it. I can't go upstairs. No, there's pots in the way. Impossible. Can't move those. You look... You look wiped out. Did, did your father have you banished spirits for him? Of course he did. I'll make a, a cup of tea. You poor thing. Why don't you eat one of those stone fruit you harvested to gain back some of your health, your energy? That's better. Now that your dad's done with you, I want to tell you about the medallion he gave you. The medallion used to be mine. Now we are passing it down to you. Your Moonstone Medallion is a sacred tool in invented by alchemists that came before us. <laughs> Where in it lies a pocket dimension that can house up to three spirits. Only three? Yep. Spirits you keep in the medallion will come to your aid should you need help. You can also build a barn to house them in, which I think is a lot cozier. I know this is all a bit confusing, but you'll you'll get the hang of it. Looks like that fight had you. Looks like that fight you had earlier got you enough experience. Why don't you try leveling up one of your one of your spirits? You can do that by entering your medallion. While you're in there, feed them this nimbus plant too. And it'll make them strong for your journey tonight. Oh. Well, let's increase bash strength. Choose a there card to add to the deck. Deal 12 earth damage for 3 points. That sounds pretty good. Deal 4 damage to all enemies. Deal damage 2 That's times. Pretty good too. Is that like a like a card like you uh, use that and you can use... Wait, how does that work? It deals 4 damage. Uh oh. I feel like that one's prop. The last one's probably the best. But what are others? Are there costs to them? Yep. 
This one costs three, two, one. Oh, I see. That costs three energy, doesn't it? Yep. And it looks like it gets exhausted for the rest of combat. Hmm. <sighs> Maybe brawl? Yeah, brawl sounds good. She says you want to feed the Nimbus. Don't leave yet. Why is she crying? <laughs> You've got a long journey ahead of you. You should feed the Nimbus plant to your spirit friend first. I just want to see what happens if I completely ignore them sometimes. She got really sad. Yeah, they like super sad. I think she's sad we're leaving. She is sad you're leaving. Thank you for doing that. Your father is about is all about the fighting, but you have to take care of your spirit too. Now your spirit should have the strength they need to keep you safe. I can't believe you're leaving home today. I miss you so much. Goodbye forever. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, I, mi I miss you. Goodbye. But you'll only have to, you'll you'll but you'll only be gone for a year, right? Then you'll have com completed your alchemy training. I'm so proud of you. No way, mom! I'm 12 years old. I'm gonna go out and be a Pokemon master. I'm a yeah. peacock, mom. You gotta let me fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a penguin. I have to go soar the skies. Are we ready to go? Yes. I mean, you just planted the flowers for your father. I guess so. New mission. Spend a year away from home. Next time I see you, you'll be a fully-fledged alchemist. Or I'll be dead. Who knows? One of the two things. I'll be sad either way. <laughs> Next time, okay. I'm afraid it's frozen on my screen, so if they just go, go. This is the last gift for you, kid. I made you these. <laughs> What's funny, kitty? <laughs> I'm just saying, from ship was angle. It just says I made you these, and that's it. <laughs> They're not much, but they'll get you started out there. What's going on? <laughs> I got swears now, unfortunately. Now give your dad a hug. We're both so proud of you. Oh, I can hear it. Here's a few seeds from, from the garden I've been saving for you. Plant them as soon as you settle in, okay? You'll need them for your big adventure. Just remember, we'll be with you wherever you are, whatever you decide to call home. Wherever. Very sad so close to the cliff. And we love you so much, bye! Because that's my bye, way dear. out of here. Oh no. <laughs> See you later, kid. Well, you gotta, you gotta push him off the cliff like a bird. <laughs> okay, I really am a peacock. <laughs> <laughs> gotta let me fly. <laughs> fly, fly. And I'm so proud to see you following in our footsteps, sweetheart. You're gonna be a, make a great alchemist. Remember, all alchemists share a love of things that grow. That applies not only to your cross, but also to people around you. What if they don't grow? And you hate them? Yeah. Yep, oh yeah. Oh my darling, I'm so excited to see you grow into what you grew, who you grow into. What I grow into? What am I experiment now? <laughs> 
promise that you'll be safe out there. No promises. Why did you just jump off the cliff right now? <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle this. You have not taught me how to fly yet. <laughs> I'll do my best. You sound just like your father. I'm just gonna have to trust you. Well, the wind is starting to pick up. Get those arms flapped up. <laughs> I guess it's time to let, for me to let you go. Do I get to hug Dad yet? Time for your final lesson. Charge that broom up. Oh. And release energy to catch the wind, young witch. Hmm. And be safe, okay? We love you. Wait, I can't hug Dad. He asked for a hug. No, oh, no. Negative. Okay. Can't Just fly either. here. <laughs> what? Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what? I get the tool tip for can't fly here. You can't. You can't fly here. Well, I guess you can't leave. Vaughn says as she grabs you, pulls you back into the house. <laughs> Generating world. Don't worry. We only have to do this once. Thanks for waiting. They never taught me how to fly a broom. Ah! Yeah, they just taught you how to fly a broom that exact second. <laughs> That's gonna go great, right? Whatever you do, don't let go of it. I guess is the only lesson. <laughs> My question is, why did they send you out in the middle of the night? That's a good question. Probably should have done it in the morning, not night time, but <laughs> who, are we, who are we to judge what the parents do? I, I've tried to start this game like twice because I was waiting for you guys for a while. And both times, I have failed to get anywhere at the beginning that I don't collapse. Oh. Night one. Oh no. That'd be me. That'd be how I'd play. What's the lighter I, there? I just... Oh, there's a town off in the distance. Finally, I hope they need an alchemist. Because I really need to get off this broom. I think I'm getting splinters. If the char the main character has a voice. Or is it in his head, I mean. Oh, this wind is really strong. Is it supposed to be this hard to stay on the broom? Oh no, I think I'm losing control. How do you land this thing? <laughs> and there goes my brain. Noise. And I dropped the tads the tools dad gave me and mom's seeds. Whoops. I guess I'm not leaving here anytime soon. I hope this isn't a bad omen. It is also ten in the morning, like one ten. Your Pokemon's kinda of pissed. Yeah, he he's always like that. <laughs> okay, let's find tools and seeds that I just dropped. I got the broken broom. Hooray! Okay, I actually know what direction the town is in this time. Let's see if I can get there without passing out. Quick run to the hotel. I don't worry about the I really don't let me inside. Place. There's a letter in the mailbox. Uh. Steal their mail. That's probably my mail. Steal, yeah. Let, let's just grab up stuff. Because apparently this is a scripted pass out that you cannot avoid. Grab all the lily pads while you can, I guess. Glug! I got a moonstone! You know, Bob a fairy. And we're gonna... There it is. I guess I wasted more time this time just trying to figure out how not to pass out. <laughs> we did great the first day. 
Yeah. Only passed out once. Yeah. <laughs> what a good day. Yep. Are you okay? Who wants to be that? Oh, either way. I'm sorry. So you wants dropped to be out of the sky last night, and then I found you passed out on the ground. I got Quill to carry you here, and I was worried you weren't going to wake up, but you did. I guess with that get up, you must be a new alchemist. How exciting. Or a new stunt performer. Anyway, you can stay in the spare room if you need somewhere to crash. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have said crash. It's really insensitive, isn't it? I mean, you can sleep here if you want. I have to charge rent eventually, though. Oh, and I think these are your tools. I'll just leave them here for you. She says that, but she already charged me. Like, I noticed that I had a hundred gold before. Whenever I was messing around <laughs> with other runs. Who are you gonna call the police? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she helped me, but it's just funny that she says, I'll have to charge rent eventually when she already charged you. Well, now you know why the last part of my name is Oh No. Oh No. Oh, no. <laughs> she came after me again. <laughs> She looks and goes, have you ever seen, have you ever heard of the movie Mer Misery? <laughs> Reading that novel? What, do we want to date this girl? All over the place. I hope it's okay when I pick them up. <laughs> Maybe you could get your tent set up on the north side of town. Clear space for it. Don't be afraid to chop down trees and cut the grass if you need to. Just don't chop down anyone's houses. You have a place all to yourself. I guess you could set it up on the outer islands, but there are wild spirits out there. I think maybe you should take it easy for the time being. Anyway, take your time getting up. You seem pretty bruised up, but I don't think anything's broken. I'm not a doctor, though. I might have some work for you, too. So come downstairs when you're ready, if you can walk. Okay, so missions. Place the tent down. I should use my tools to clear a spot set up my tent, then explore the island to see if I can find moonstones. They glow at night, and there's usually one per island. You already found this island's moon stand, then. Hello! We found it for last night. So that's good. My name is Sasuno, and I run the tavern here on Moonstone Island. Come on by any time and check it out. I'm only half a heart. Well, any time we're open, I mean. I got something for you. The gun! Oh no, it's a self-crafting recipe. Build one and place it wherever you get set up. Drop anything you want to sell in there, like crops or items. Or weapons. I'll pick it up at the end of the day and pay you for everything that's in there. If you want more recipes, you have to find them, I'm afraid. Your mines and dungeons are a good place to start. I sell you ghosts. Probably. So, if we can catch them. One more thing, can I ask you a quick favor? There's a ghost in my basement, can you go get? I'm joking. I also need some stone to rebuild some minor basement damage. <laughs> foundation of this uh, in the, don't ask <laughs> did you bring me some I kind of want to ask but sure thank you just put the stones in the cell crate and I'll pick it up and we'll figure out you she fell in love with you yeah this is how much she likes me She clearly likes me. Hmm. Who's this one? Pet. Weird outfit. Must be the new alchemist. I'm Guyana. I work in the conservatory. 
Don't mind, I'd have somewhere I need to be. Cool, it worked every time that time. <laughs> I watched some videos on it. This people say it is completely useless to choose anything but talk. Mom sent us a recipe to craft an air balloon. How did they find out where you were? I don't know. We heard that someone crashed and we thought it was you. Hope you're alive, honey. Congratulations on your subscription to MailCo and your ownership of a brand new mailbox. You can now receive letters through the mailboxes in your town and even craft your own. It's good to get mail. Who registered you for that? I don't know, but we are registered now. Creepy. You belong to this town. There is no escape. The mother and the father are gonna communicate with the tent. Yeah, they're gonna crash out land to out here. At least their first time. I don't think she knows how to ride the thing. But just be on the lookout. <laughs> Did you teach her how to ride a boom? No. Oh, okay. No one's in here. Let's hunt down people. In the meantime, I'm just gonna gather up blacks to sell, because why not? They're all gathered in a town center awaiting uh, Lord Sadler. Hmm. There's someone! Who wants to be rolling? Oh. Oh. Hi. You're new. Welcome to Mo Moonstone Island. I think those are my favorite eyes so far. Hmm. I'm in the shop here. I can get, help you with supplies and stuff. Why are you behind the counter? <laughs> oh, it's the only I'm way to rowing. talk to you. Oh, and I'm Rowan, sorry. We know if I can help you settle in. Fertilizer, there's flax seeds, lily pad seeds, cattails. Cattails boost the speed of spirit, huh? Can you grow lily pads on on dirt? I don't know. I they were more of a water I thought bully pads would only like grow on like water surfaces. Yeah, I thought it was water. Interesting. These are the ground based bully pads, I guess. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to grow them in the water. Maybe. That's not good enough to enter their bedroom. That is their bedroom? <laughs> Hello. Those clothes. You're, you're an alchemist. I'm so glad you arrived at last! Press a little behind schedule, but no matter, you're here now. What schedule?! <laughs> wow, that's weird. I'm Cleo, a Moonstone's resident historian and scholar. Any question you have, come to me first. I blame this woman. This one clearly planned to get me here. I oh, found a villain. Just chop on your mind. Cut in their grass for them. That's uh, nice of you. Oddly <laughs> <laughs> quiet. Where are people? I'm hunting them down. Wait, that's the bedroom. I probably should set up my I house in a second. You gotta come out of a building. Go Koenma, Koenma. What to do? Hey. You know, your character is like a blue link. Yeah. Choose a talisman. Let's upgrade. Meditate. Okay. 
Okay, so your time goes up by 10 minutes at a time. Hmm. I probably should go get set up. I wonder if you get set up in the northern part of the village. So much fiber. I figured it was something to gather while we go out and about. I would probably gather everything in the village. <laughs> exactly. right, this looks like a good area. Yeah. Gonna chop down some trees. I don't think they let me chop right down here. trees. Someone came out of that building just now. Where are you going? Just saw them. Come back. Alright, let's get him in a second. We'll get him next time. It was time. Lewis. Okay, I gotta place down my house somewhere. This looks like a good spot. We can't play get it back up until we craft another one. Does this look like a good area? Yeah. That's fine. There we go, in we settled in. That's where our house is. New person! Oh, hello. You must be the new alchemist everyone's talking about. Why is this mouth giving me smug? <clears throat> I always wanted to see an alchemist. Regalia in real life? Wow. Nice to meet you. I'm Professor Zed. I oh god, it's Dr. Zed! It's Dr. Zed. It's Lord Zed. Power Rangers. You should drop by when you have when you've seen a few spirits. I'd love to talk research with you. Oh, before I forget, one more thing. It just so happens that I was recently awarded a grant to study the spirits that inhabit the outer islands. It's pretty dangerous work, and let's just say I'm more of a labs kind of scientist. Oh, if you're up it for it. I was thinking we could help each other out. Nice. I need you to bring me a spirit. That's at least level five. You see, I can't do the dangerous field work like you can, but I can handle the boring alchemetic bits. Academic bits. Why is he calling academic. it boring? Is he trying to smooth this up or is he yeah. actually thinking the work he does is boring? He's trying to make it sound exciting, like he's his work is excite. He's trying to make it sound like your work is really exciting and his work is boring, so you don't try to take his job <laughs> instead. What if I want your job? You can't do it. <laughs> I'm the lab system here. Axel, so thank you. I'll have a Oreo draw up some blueprints for a spirit barn, which you can use to house spirits. Cut out the middleman. Take such job. Bribe Polio. <laughs> to do it for you. No, please don't. <laughs> and you get crit on the paper too. I'm gonna need to write all this down. Talk. I noticed that some people it goes up by six and some people goes up by five now. Say goodbye. See ya. New person. Oh. Ah, the alchemist. Asano told me you'd arrive in style. Rarity. Look at her hair. She's pretty. I'm a failure, though. You might hear some people call me Lena, too. I'm a botanist in town. I whip up cures for all what it all heals them. Is that what a botanist does? That sounds like, like a doctor. You question my job. Are you a pharmacist? <laughs> I don't know what this girl's job is now. I suppose you'd be doing that too. I do botanist. Hey, hers went up by seven for a second there. And then it went down twice. Take care. Thank you for cutting my grass. <laughs> Twelve year old child. 
I'm just going around cutting everyone's grass. <laughs> you think they're happy about that? <laughs> you and your <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Warp whistle. Found a warp whistle. Person. We just. No, oh, it's you, a new alchemist, right? You're cuter than I thought you'd be. I was imagining some old guy with a beard. You have the same ahoge as my father. Well, I have you here. Give me all your money. Have you stumbled across any mines yet? They tend to be hidden under big rocks, so try breaking some open with a hammer. Do you have a hammer? Go buy a hammer. I know a store. <laughs> <laughs> but not the rocks in town. Those are protected. And I feel you'll kill you. Yeah, the rocks are very important. And just, and then just climb down the ladder. It'll appear when you break the lot, the rocks, into the dark. You go wrong. Anyway, the reason I ask is because I need some copper ore. Bring me that, and I'll teach you how to make ing ingots. Yeah. I'll even pay you for you full price for the ore. Win win. You want me to climb into a dark hole? Seriously? I like how they don't respond whenever you choose the sassy option. Hey, she got plus oh. eight. She had two plus eights, but then she lost two at the end. Yep. That's oh, the first character some. you've lost some. I've lost some on really most of them. Where's the ocean? This place is in the sky as well. For a second, I thought you were going to ask, where's Yoshi? Where's Yoshi? Oh, well, there's the ocean. It's flying. You're right. Yeah. You're on a sky island. Tristan. We're in Skype here! Although there's no clouds. Sad. Why are you fishing in water that has no way of ever having fish? You have to come from away, aren't you? What? <laughs> welcome, welcome. We've been waiting such a long time. Bada bing, bada bing, bada I like boom. his hat. Ah. I'm gonna be the king of the pirates. I'd offer you. <laughs> you were the king of the pirates. That was gonna say he's, he's Luffy. <laughs> Where's my man? Is? I'm Tobin. T O O B I I N. I like how he started introducing his name right after all. Like, king of the pirates is Luffy. <laughs> I said the B O O U catches the fish, as they say. Lovely to the beach. -a. I got a little request for uh, here for you. I heard you've been helping uh, people out all over. I heard tales of rare fish living on the most distant islands. Love to see them someday. If you catch any, could you sell them to me? Why are you blushing? I'm blushing. I love that fish. Mm -mm -mm. I love I'll put them all in my trophy case for you all, TC. Risking my life for fish for sounds you, great. Oh, only five, only ten with that guy, or eight, I should say. Later. <laughs> it's starting to get late. Yep. Twenty. Military time. Hey, there's yep. a moonstone. Another person. Oh, that's that bad lady from before. Oh, Look how they glow. Why are they going into the forest at night time? I don't know, but it's gonna <laughs> get night time soon. They said the children yearn for the mines, so I guess the, these people yearn for the forests. At 10 o'clock at night. Let's see if I can break any rocks or something before it turns completely. Eat one of these.
watching my stamina. 16. Takes like two a hit. Oh, there's a mine. I don't think we can you go down right a, now. You almost had a Legend of Zelda sound when you did it. Sure did. <laughs> Wait, who is that? I saw you! <laughs> I do not recall down. that face. Hey, you're the new mechanic. What? Well... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, stream's frozen for ship owner. I mean, no. Oh. What was it? Alchemist! Alchemist! I don't have one before, so I might forget the word again. Nice to meet ya. Hey, that one worked all three. <laughs> are you Edward or are you Alfred? Fox. Okay, let's go ahead and get some rest. They're all active at night. Apparently. Let's check the crafting thing. Cell crate. I need 30 wood to make a cell crate. Don't you want a balloon? <laughs> yeah, let's make a balloon. There we go. Now we have a balloon. Don't you want it? Don't you want it? Don't you want it? <laughs> Don't you want it? <laughs> Don't you want Let's it? keep our moonstones in here. Piper in there. I'm gonna need to feed that to this guy. I don't think I need to have m be carrying around my broken broom. Where'd your dinosaur go? Inside the medallion. Let's go feed him. Okay, we can upgrade one card. Okay, so if we upgrade this one, it will be draw two attack cards from your draw discard pile. Ooh, deal eight damage to all enemies. Oh, wow. Deal six damage, apply to rage. Let's upgrade brawl. Thank you for upgrading me. He just has like a normal, like a normal water voice. That was day one. No items sold. Ah! Mail! Newsletter for people who are new in town issue one. Wait, are you just writing this for me only? Yeah. Asuna here, welcome to Moonstone Island. This is a newsletter that automatically goes out to everyone who moves here, like you. Step one of selling in, get to know your new neighbors. Some people might even have jobs for you, which is great because you can get money to spend at the tavern. That's all for issue one, stay tuned. Okay, oh, we have a ton of these things now. Wants me to fly off the island with a balloon, sell 20 stones, Oh, we just haven't met one person. Palolo. Hello, that's the guy. That's probably the guy in the lab. He's probably in the laboratory. He's probably the assistant to the other guy. Hmm. You can go in the. You can go in the dungeon too. Let's go in there. Let's see what's going on. Climb in the dark hole. Oh, look at that. There's a thing over there. Completely safe. Yeah. Iron ore. I'm surprised you didn't need a, I'm surprised you didn't need a pickaxe. I mean some of these games use a whatever it's what's it called? A a hammer instead. I need to set up my farm. Yes, 
so two in the upper left. How many chests are in here, I think? We just found one next to the entrance. <coughs> Get out of here for a second and set up our farm here. Back to cutting grass for the millionth time. At least this one's not a cheapo. Water them while your dinosaurs trampling them. <laughs> yep. He's trying to help. He's helpful. Just look at him. Yeah. There we go. We got those watered. I got some stone now, so let's see if I can craft that. We also got a torch now. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, we need more wood. Let's get some down. I like how it just gets oddly silent. <laughs> it sure does. Wait, when you refill your energy, that sounds like a Mega Man thing. Mm. Because I've seen like a few uh, games fused together. I guess sell a crate. There you go. Hmm. It'd be weird to put it down there. Let's put it up here. Let's sell fiber. I'm supposed to sell 20 things of stone. To complete the quest. Hmm. You sold a stone for us now. I probably need those too. Let's keep those in my pocket. Lily pad heals us. That just boosts the speed. I don't know how useful that is. Let's hold on to copper ore, because that lady wanted it. Yep. I guess let's try over this way to see if we can figure out who we're missing. Make sure your video's not going beyond an hour. Oh yeah. Not yet. I'll stop bothering you to bathe in Dibblar into nothingness. <laughs> what in the world? Mm. Okay, here's a new one. Hello. Nice I found you, Zed. Mm. Hello. Back to work. Palo is not there. Palo is not there. Where do I find Palo? Mm. Well, I think catching mi moonstone quality fish probably is rare. What about that heart thingy? 
Oh, so that's relationships. Relationships. Can I tell you person. where they are? Nope. Oh, okay. Never mind. Are the little calendars like their birthdays or whatever? Oh. I think that's if you like schedule a date with them or something, because I can't click it. Mm. I thought that was like you could t it would tell you like their birthday or something. Like uh, Star Still ten had... copper at the smithy. Tame a spirit, little five or higher. Tavern's a good place to start, especially on a Friday. Okay. A psychic storm occurs on one random island every night. What? That's not good. Psychic storm? I don't know what that means. Uh, one of my quests wants me to sail off with my balloon. Let's check the tavern real quick. Hi. I already talked to you today. Yeah. Hello. Oh, bye. Reason never looked better. Here's the cash. Thank you. Dish of day is really good. Oh. Something else I wanted to ask you. Have you checked out the dungeon yet? Why is everyone obsessed with dungeons? They want your. They want all the good. Those good uh, minerals the down there. Northeast of town near the hot spring. Okay, it's a different thing. Never spend the to go outside because inside because it's full of wild spirits. Seems like your thing. There's treasure inside. Okay. Sounds scary, but I'll do it. Good luck. Whatever she feels like making today. Effects vary. Increase walk speed by 10%. Increase your speed by 10 for the day. Doesn't stack. These ones decrease your walk speed. This one increases your walk. Like, what? This one changes every single day. I don't make enough to actually be able to buy those. What? Okay. You want to see a flower that's on fire? Yeah, of course. Who doesn't? Wait, you have a different- you have a shop? You're an artist? Oh, you have the same shop as she does. Okay. Mm. Anyone else in here? Okay, let's keep trying to figure out where this solo person is. Do I have ten of these? Perfect, I have just enough. There you go. Hi. Hi! This person's already trying to hit on me. Yeah, she is. Just wondering, you're a catch. Oh no! Buy Orin ingots at 150% of the price. Ooh, furnace crafting. Here, yeah, take this crafty furnace. I run the forge around here, but you'll need your own furnace to smelt metal ore into into, into ingots. My forge is way too expensive to rent out. Sorry. Oh, and if you bring me, let's say, three iron ingots, I'll teach you to make charms, too. Sorry. I know that's a lot of stuff to dump on you, you but don't rush. Just trying to be to help a newcomer. So is your shop. Ooh, reinforced weapons. If I get three iron ink not you got three copper ink I can reinforce some of my items. Then three iron, then moonstone ink guts. Okay. Those things are super expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Later. It was just wandering to people's houses again. Maybe we'll figure out where Palolo is. Can we restart it? 